who was one of the favorites in this particular category, will make his debut. Peter Wiley, how do you like his chances? I give him a good chance to win this going away, really. He has too much experience for this uh, Pakistani opponent, and uh, he's got a lot of smarts, and he's a, a really a comer in the, in the international scene right now. I think he should win this going away. Lennox Lewis just introduced to the crowd. You heard that tremendous ovation. The other fighter being introduced now, and we are just about set to go to the action, so let's go to the ring. The bell has just sounded, and we are underway with round one. Canada's Lennox Lewis, six foot four, 212 pounds from Kitchener, Ontario, making his debut in the Olympic super heavyweight category. He has drawn a fighter from Pakistan by the name of Mohammed Yusuf, and Yusuf has come to fight. Yes, he has, and it's about the only thing he's really got going for him against uh, Lennox Lewis because uh, Lennox has got vast experience on him. But we know that the Pakistani uh, boxers are very, very strong. This fellow is from the uh, Army way. He's from the mountains. He's a very tough mountain lad, and he'll give a tough uh, account of himself all the way through. He landed a hard right hand on Lennox right there that sort of just shook him for a second, but it wasn't that hard to really uh, hurt him. Things not going the way Lennox Lewis had hoped they would so far in the fight. He is not hurt, don't get me wrong, but he did not anticipate, I think, taking a standing eight count within the first minute of the first round. Lennox Lewis, as Peter Wiley pointed out, with uh, some international experience, but most of that at the junior and intermediate level. He is only 18 years old, won't be 19 until next month, the 2nd of September. So he stepped up a class in terms of world competition, and he's, he's going to find a difference, I know, if not in this fight, then certainly in the next one, uh, in terms of the caliber of opponents. There's what he has to do. He came out very fast at the start of the fight. He thought he would just take it quickly to the uh, Pakistani and take him out, uh, and that didn't happen, and he ran into a few short hard shots himself by just rushing things. Now he's realized he's got to settle down and box and use his technical abilities. He's got vast experience over this guy. Pick him off and take him apart, and that's what he's doing. Lennox Lewis landing a good right uppercut there that caught the chin of the Pakistani fighter. Lewis, uh, his greatest assets, he feels his speed, hand speed, and foot speed, and boxing ability. He says he's got a knockout punch, but uh, his real assets are speed. No question about it. And now the, the fighter from Pakistan has lost his mouthpiece, so they'll go back to the corner, wash it off, and then the fight will continue. The officials are really down on this. If he was to have that happen again, he could lose a point very quickly. Well, it's a ploy that many fighters have used over the years, Peter, when they when they are having the tar pounded, uh, pounded out of them. Uh, they lose the mouthpiece on every second punch. Yes, and they're not going to be allowed to get away with it in this tournament. That was spelled out very clearly to them by the officials. And here now, that good left hand of Lennox that he has is coming to the fore now, and he's scoring quite well. He has tremendous lateral movement for a big man. He can really move when he wants to. Well, Coach Arnie Beam and Taylor Gordon sitting in Lennox Lewis' corner. Arnie Beam, the man who looks after Lewis through the greater portion of the year, and he describes Lewis as being the most attentive kid he ever had, and even now, at the age of 18, going on 19, still very highly coachable. He'll take advice, he'll listen to what you have to say, and then put it into practical use. Lennox is trying to catch his man with a good jab, and as the Pakistani leans forward, which he's doing, he's leaning forward with his upper body, what Lennox is doing is slipping in the right uppercut as he comes in underneath the chin, and it's a good move. There's the right hand over top. He's just trying to pick his man off very, very clearly here and look for the clean shots to score against the Pakistani. The Pakistani's playing it smart. He's staying close to Lewis and uh, making it a close fight. And this is for an obvious reason. No, uh, none other than Ken Hamilton, who's from Toronto, is in the Pakistani's corner, and he's told him, stay close to Lennox. Lennox Lewis going back to the Canadian corner where he is embraced by Coach Arnie Bean. He'll get some advice prior to the start of round two. We return once again to the Memorial Sports Arena in Los Angeles, where round two of this super heavyweight encounter is just underway. In the ring, representing Canada, Lennox Lewis, six foot four, 212 pounds from Kitchener, Ontario, against a very tough, very unorthodox boxer from Pakistan by the name of Mohammed Yusuf. An interesting first round in which Lennox Lewis had some problems with his opponent, and we heard Coach Arnie Bean between ones one and two telling his fighter in the corner, Lennox, you're a boxer. You're a boxer. You've got to be a boxer. Don't get into a wrestling contest with this guy. We don't want that. 
The Pakistani Mohammed Yusuf has slowed down a little bit here. His footwork has dropped back and he's starting to become flat-footed and that'll be a big turning point for him because Lennox can move, move, move and outbox him throughout this round now. And the, he's trying to come forward right now but I can see that his conditioning is lacking slightly now and Lennox should have a little bit of an advantage on him. Ken Hamilton, uh, who's working the uh, Pakistani's corner, is from Toronto and works with Asif Dar in the uh, lightweight class, and that's why he's there in that corner. And he's told the Pakistani, rightly so, to start, try to stay close to Lennox because Lennox uh, is a good boxer and uh, try to make it a close fight. But I don't think uh, Yusuf has the, uh, the tools and the conditioning to do just that. Canada's Lennox Lewis coming on a little in round two, but also showing himself susceptible to the Pakistani boxer's right hand. Lennox carrying his own left hand very, very low. He's picking uh, Yusuf off now with left hooks, good jabs, dropping the right hand in now. He's smartening up entirely. There it is again. His timing is coming off very nicely now. Now he hurt the Pakistani with the right hand, but uh, Yusuf has come right back. He is one tough individual, because normally if Lewis hit somebody with that on the button like that, they would be hurt. And the crowd beginning to boo again. as the uh, Pakistani boxer Yusuf's mouthpiece has again come out. That's the second time in the fight that has happened. And perhaps coincidentally, perhaps not, both times it has happened is when he's been taking some heat from Lennox Lewis. The speed has gone out of Yusuf now. It really has. Lennox can pick him off. It'll just get worse for him as it goes on. As I mentioned earlier, Lennox Lewis describing his own boxing skills as being very fast. Fast hands, fast feet, good mobility. Don't forget, this man is 212 pounds. He says he is not regarded by a lot of people as being a knockout puncher, but then as he breaks into a smile, he says, but I know the punch is there. Lennox has been sitting around in the uh, training camp for the last 10 uh, days doing uh, hardly getting any sparring whatsoever, but working a lot with the pads with Arnie Beam to keep his speed up. But that's got to affect his timing, and it's taken him a full round to get back and thank goodness for that. Now he's starting to come on right now. He needed this fight in the worst way. Well, I've mentioned that about a number of Canadian boxers that have made their Olympic debuts as Lewis opens up. Nice left and two right hands to Yusuf. The referee, Mr. Dobrev of Bulgaria, separating the two. But uh, as I was saying, no matter how much work you do in the gym, it's not like a fight in terms of establishing your timing and your power. Boy, is this Mohammed Yusuf a tough dude, I'm going to tell you. He just got hit with a three-punch combination that would put most guys down, and he stood right up there and just fired right back. There is the bell, the end of round two, and so Lennox Lewis uh, showing signs of coming on and obviously listening to what his coaches have to say to him in the corner between rounds. Let's see if we can pick up what Arnie Beam and Taylor Gordon are telling him. got a microphone in that corner but uh, Arnie Beam obviously talking in a very low voice as we're not able to understand exactly what is being said but Peter Wiley you're a boxing expert I'm sure you know he's going to tell him to carry on with what he's doing right now and be even more mobile be a boxer pick his man off but even be even be more uh, mobile in the movement there because Yusuf's feet are flat he really is flat and he, can, he could hurt him He's saying you're a beautiful boxer. Throw those combinations. One, two, three. One, two, three. Well, this is far and away the biggest competition, the biggest international competition that Lennox Lewis has ever been involved in. But I'm sure Arnie Beam telling him that he is a beautiful boxer to keep his confidence up. Round three, as you see, just underway. Lennox Lewis now beginning to show us some of that speed he had talked about earlier. He is very light, very quick on his feet for such a big man and quick hands. The Pakistani boxer Yusuf landing one of his own there that grazed Lewis's chin. There's the mobility we're looking for. Now he just has to fire combinations. He has the mobility on Yusuf and he has to use it here. Fire off combinations, that's the idea. One, two, three, keep that jab busy. Lennox Lewis dancing, moving well as we have 2.20 to go in round three. Lewis, of course, the uh, world junior super heavyweight champion, a crown he picked up last fall in the Dominican Republic. He's, he's won a tremendous bout uh, recently also over Craig Payne, who was ranked fourth in the world. And that bout was back in February in the Canada versus USA tournament. 
So he's got a lot of credits to his uh, record li lately. He's got six international boats only, but all six of them being win wins. He's never been defeated internationally. What a right hand. Oh, a booming right hand. Lewis setting it up with the left end, crossing with the right. The Pakistani boxer Yusuf taking that flush on the jaw. He went down like a ton of bricks. Mr. Dobrov will not let this continue. And Canada's Lennox Lewis with his arms raised high in the air has won his Olympic opener in most impressive fashion. He just felt he had too much uh, class for, for Yusuf. He felt he was, he was just uh, too much for him. He, he had uh, too much ability. And there was no point in carrying on with about Yusuf was just going to get hurt. Yusuf still slumped over in his corner as we took a look at Canada's Lennox Lewis in his corner. The headgear being removed. That is coach uh, Arnie Bean sporting the mustache, wearing a big grin. And let's see how he did it, Peter. I think the setup came off the left jab and then the right hand came over. And there it is. Oh, you see his head snap back. What a telling blow. I told you earlier in this fight, folks, Canada's Lennox Lewis telling me just days ago, I've got knockout power, don't sell me short, you saw it there. As I said, Canada's Lennox Lewis wins his Olympic opener.